Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss about different project types available within Jira. And as usual, by end of this video, I'll cover very important interview questions around project types that will help you in the interviews as well as in the Jira project administration certification preparation. So within Jira, broadly, there are two project types. And I'll go ahead and show you and show you what the differences are. So from the interview point of view, you are clear why different type of project and what exactly is the difference between those so we'll go to the project and say for example i create a project right so as soon as i'll go ahead and create a project you will see different project templates depending on what where exactly you want to use these projects so i'll use for software development or work management or marketing human resource i can choose the templates accordingly that are available out of the box so i'll go ahead with the software development i'll choose a template scrum and let's go next okay so let me move this template and here you will see see the project type so Jira has two project types one is team managed the second one is company managed now team managed as the name itself says that it is a it is set up and maintained by your team so if say for example you are a team within your organization and you want more flexibility self-contained space you do not want the conflict with hundred of other projects you go ahead and create a team managed project because you get more flexibility around managing that particular project so if we go ahead and see it is a simple configuration simplified configuration that you will get in a team managed project it get you will get up up and running very quickly with simplified configuration right so if you want very simple configuration your requirement within the project are simple then you go ahead and create team managed project that a team anyone in the team can go ahead and manage it right so you do not have to rely on the jira administrator to manage those project right now if we go ahead and talk about the company managed project it is set up and maintained by the jira admins that means it is shared it it has advanced capabilities around around schemes and schemes are shared with other projects if they are company managed so if there are 50 company managed projects created all those company managed projects will share the schemes that are defined by the jira administrators and this is more of when you have you know organ when you want to define and promote organizational best practices that the schemes the permission schemes should be like this the issue schemes should be like this then you go ahead and stick to the company managed project wherein more and more projects within your organization are standardized in the way in terms of fields they are using in terms of processes or the workflows they are using they are more standardized right but team managed project is for the teams that want flexibility and want flexibility to go ahead and change few things quickly without relying on Jira admins. So let's read what exactly because these points itself will help you in the interview as well as in the certification preparations, right? So now what team managed project have unique is that any setting that you do in the team managed project is specific because it's self-contained right so it is specific to that particular project it is not going to impact other project but when we talk about the company managed project it is a standardized configuration that is shared across projects so if you change anything in there in the configuration that is impact that is going to impact all the projects that are company managed across your organization team manage is easy, easy to set up uh, for the issues and custom fields are easy to set up uh, then in terms of company manage you complete control over issue types and custom fields is basically provided but then here you do not have the complete control so easy setup for issue type and custom field but complete control over issue type and custom field is not there right so there are limitations in team manage project over company manage now team manage simple conf configuration of workflows but in company manage you will you can create complex workflows statuses issue transitions etc that is all possible permissions as well access level permissions are limited in team managed and detailed permission schemes are available in company managed project so this is basically difference simplified configuration is uh, uh, required for team managed and expert configuration is required for company managed so that's the difference overall and if we talk about the essential feature so basically in the team managed you don't need any advanced features you get essential features of jira and you go ahead and up and running with team managed project but if you want advanced feature more power of jira the the everything that jira provides then you go ahead with the company managed and if you want to be more standardized across organization then company managed now say for example we go ahead with the company managed project okay and i'll show you uh the i'll say rcv company managed or i'll just say okay so it creates a key there 
all right now you will see that you have this checkbox share, share settings with an existing project right so if you want to share the settings now because this is company managed project you can go ahead and share the settings with an existing project if you have and there is no other project company managed project so that's why you don't see any option here but if there was you will see that you will you can share the settings from the existing project so i'll go ahead and uncheck this as of now and then i'll go ahead and move next right so i'll say okay move next and then it will go ahead and create a company managed project so now you will see that we are in the company managed project so overall on a high level we have understood that there are two type of project within jira team managed company managed and team managed is quick and easy provides less flexibility less features company managed is every advanced feature of jira but requires jira administrators to manage it now let's go to the questions part and understand what could be some of the key questions that you can expect right so for example when we talk about the boards right so between how many boards can a team managed project have this is very important question so team managed project if we talk about can only have one board so you can cannot have multiple boards for a team managed project but for a company managed project you can have multiple boards okay now do you need to be a jira admin to manage team managed project no right because jira admin team managed project anyone who has created is by default the administrator of the project and in the team managed project it is because it is self-contained so anyone within the team can go ahead and manage that particular project if it is team managed because it is not going to impact other project configurations that happens in the company managed project so you don't need to be a jira admin but if it is other way around if they ask do you need to be a jira admin to manage a company Company managed Jira, uh, company managed Jira project. Yes, absolutely. You need to be a Jira administrator because then G only Jira admin has the rights to go ahead and change the permission scheme because those are going to be shared across, right? So any scheme, permission scheme or notification scheme, they will be shared in the company managed project. Now, if it's a, if say for example scenario based question, which project type should you use if you want to create a board with issues from multiple projects, right? Now, in the team managed project, along with the board, you can only have issues on the board that are specific to that project if you want to filter create a filter and have the projects from other projects then in the team managed projects you can't have the, the issues on the board from other projects okay so in case you need the issues from multiple projects on a board then you have to go ahead with the company managed projects and that's where these details are required and knowledge is required so you basically know you go ahead and ask the right set of questions to the project members and know the requirement and then they then you can go ahead and suggest you go ahead with the team managed or company managed project right so that's where this knowledge is required now how can you find if a jira project is team managed or company managed many different options are available but the if you talk about the easiest way you'll see that once you go to the project you'll see you are in a company managed project in the left hand side right so that this shows whether you are in a team managed or company managed if i go ahead and change this to a uh, view all project so this is one of the way and you'll see that here you'll see the type as well so team managed software the first one and the company managed software project right so here as well you will be able to see if you go to project and go to view all project you can see the type of the project there as well or you are in the project detail itself in the left hand side the project will show you you are in a team managed project or in a company managed project and learn more will give you more details about the project type okay so that's basically about the the key differences between the team managed project and company managed projects within Jira some of the key questions that you need to be aware of in order to prepare for your interview or the Jira administration certification I hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you